In this video, I will provide you with two different methods that can be used for installing base plates for framing walls or for um, floor joists to sit on using stem walls in a situation like this. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at how most of the time uh, the anchor bolts and the sill plate will be attached to the building foundation and that will be by positioning the anchor bolts um, in, in the exact spot you want them to be and the right height that they need to be and then pouring the concrete slab and I realize there's a shadow in here but you can still see the anchor bolts on top of the stem wall and in this case here the um, framing plate will need to be laid out and marked perfectly and then you you drill your hole through the framing plate set it on top of the concrete footing that's already dried and then attach it and hope that the bolts are located in the right spot and uh, the other method of course would be setting the framing plate before we pour the concrete now let's take a look mm -hmm. at the I don't think you can really see them it's not the best picture but here we have a hold down and then an anchor bolt and then we're using plastic anchor bolt holders to hold them into place when uh, and then of course we will do the same thing after the concrete is poured drill our holes for our framing plates um, notch around all of our plumbing pipes and then set it on there and if you're if you're good at this this isn't going to be an issue but if you have a lot of anchor bolts or a lot of hold downs and they need to be located perfectly then um, using the wet setting um, framing plate method might work best because it's not difficult let's go back to here it's not difficult to have these move a little bit you know they're nailed in you're hoping for the best but they could move just a little bit and if they cannot move you have something that's got to be right on the money then the other method uh, might work better. You might want to attach the framing plates before you pour the concrete. And here's an example of that. Um, I got anchor bolt space 16 inches on center. I don't have any hold downs in here. But here we have a 12 foot long sill plate. And um, it's got more than uh, two or three anchor bolts in it. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're basically one foot apart. 12 anchor bolts and uh, a little bit of a gap here at the end. But uh, if you have a situation like this, you have some stem walls, you have a concrete, uh, a monolithic slab, you're going to be pouring solid slab or stem walls, and you got a lot of anchor bolts, then it might actually benefit you to do something like this. Hang the framing plate drill all of the holes for your anchor bolts all the hold downs lay everything out perfectly and right on the money always double check everything and then hang the framing plates from some type of braces that you can make you can use um, framing anchors duplex nails um, screws i would prefer using screws seems like you can strip the forms a little easier and of course it'd be difficult to drive a duplex nail into the top of the plate here and have it uh, hold it up where the screws would work uh, nicely and again you can get creative do what you want you know these are just suggestions out there but the framing plate will need to be secured and of course the footing will need to be secured to make sure it doesn't move then you pour your concrete and you are done because there's always got to be a problem right and i've actually done this before and the problem I ran into was the concrete shrinking, um, settling, and moving, and then actually leaving a gap between the base plate. And, uh, you know, when I did it, I leveled everything out. I added a little more concrete, and I sh tried to shove it underneath. But how far are you going to be able to shove it under? You're not going to be able to shove it all the way to the end. And I'm not about to suggest there's not a method you could use to do that. Um, but I did. I shoved it in. When I went to tighten the anchor bolts, it simply tilted the framing plate down. You're talking an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch at the most. 
And when I went to put my floor joist on, it wasn't that big of a deal. I had, I had it, they were tight here and I had a little bit of a gap over here. So I'm not about to suggest that it's uh, the reason why you should never do something like this. And I would, I would use this method um, if I had a lot of anchor bolts to put in, if it was some type of a job, you, you might have, you know, a ledger or something. This isn't, you don't just need to do this for framing plates. You might have something else that needs to go into a concrete wall. And, uh, um, you know, it might be better to just have everything, you know, all your holes drilled and you don't have to worry about the, um, what comes out. And, and I do realize, you know, if you're building a house yourself, you're going to be doing all the concrete and you're going to be doing all the framing, then this is great. But you're not going to get a concrete contractor to come in and say, hey, I want to put all my framing plates in here. They're going to want to talk you out of it. So if it's a job you're doing yourself, go for it. Um, you know, if it's a job you're doing with two or three other trades, um, that might not always, um, that might all, you're going to have to probably sell them on that particular um, idea. And of course, for those of you who have worked with other trades, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the other problem that you could run into, here we have a two by four framing plate, three and a half inches wide and a 12 inch wide footing. You're gonna have plenty of room to get the concrete in here, whether you're using a pump or the chute off of a concrete truck. However, that might not be the case if you have a six inch stem wall and you only have two and a half inches in here. So this is gonna be something else to consider. Will you actually be able to set the framing plate in? And I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of having the framing plate laying off to the side, filling the concrete um, footings up and then setting the, um, the framing plate with the anchors, all the anchor bolts and stuff, because that can create voids in the concrete. So not a big fan of that. Either set the framing plate have it in place while you're pouring the concrete or just lay the anchor bolts out and and then drill the holes for the framing plate after you after the concrete has dried. So definitely something to think about. Another idea for those of you who, who have never even heard about this before. And uh, by now you should have a pretty good idea or at least a few reasons why you might or might not want to do something like this. And feel free to share your stories if you've done something like this and it worked out great or didn't work out. Always love to hear your stories. Any comments and questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. Questions I will answer as soon as possible.